Aspire has always been really powerful uh, at manipulating 3D uh, components in, as pieces of clip art. And in Aspire 3, one of the areas that we've really worked hard on is to um, improve on the existing tools for manipulating that sort of clip art and also dealing with a really common um, requirement that people have when they're using clip art. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to use this uh, eagle shape. Uh, and the eagle is um, an example of a piece of clip art that we provide on the uh, install CD, but it, it comes from the website uh, vectorart3d.com where you can purchase all sorts of different 3D objects and use them directly in your models. But typically, uh, people would like to um, make them their own. They want to have something unique about the model or they want to reuse the model in several uh, different poses. Uh, and that's been very difficult because as you can see, these are quite complicated shapes and um, they might even come from scanned real objects. Uh, and that makes manipulating the geometry traditionally quite tricky. But in Aspire 3, we've worked really hard to um, to improve that situation, which I'd like to show you now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a copy of this uh, eagle. So we've got two of those. And I'm just going to come up here and select the properties. And I'm going to call this one the original. Original. And we're going to call this one the new one so that we can distinguish them. And just for the time being, I'm going to hide that original so it will be able to compare our results to it later on. And I'm just going to grow the size of this to fill up our screen. Uh, and so you can see here that we've got our eagle fill screen. What I'm going to do is I want to get rid of this wing and reuse this wing, but bend it slightly uh, and essentially modif modify the, the wings of this bird. Uh, and the way we can do that is really easy. We can just take the, the conventional drawing tools in Aspire 3. And what I'm doing here is very crudely just drawing some lines where I would like to cut my component up. So if you imagine these are like little bits of scissors, so we're just going to cut around our component like so. Uh, and that's really as simple as that. So I'm going to select the component now. And if you imagine that that line is a bit like a cookie cutter, I select the line and we have this new tool here of component scissors, which simply chops that into two components one inside the other, as if we'd push that cu cookie cutter through the model. Uh, and you can see now they are completely independent. I can move that out of the way and we'll move this one up. And now we'll just get rid of that line. We don't need that anymore. Uh, now what I want to do as well is split these wings uh, up as well so that we can reuse them. And uh, the way that the, the scissors work as well is that we can simply draw a line as well. It doesn't have to be a closed shape. That just indicates to Aspire where we want to cut. Select the cut and we go back and just use the scissors again. And now we end up with two independent wings and I can delete that one. We're not going to be using that one. OK, so now I've got the bits that I want from my original model. Let's start playing with them. So I'm going to turn and twist the eagle here just to straighten him up a wee bit, which we can do with the standard rotation tools. Uh, and this wing is a bit flat, so I'm going to bend it slightly. Um, but what I'm going to use is this new option in Aspire, which is to distort the selected objects. And this works for either components or vectors. Uh, and we're going to just use the bounding box of the shape. We can use other vectors to define how we would bend this shape. But I'm just going to create a box now, which has conventional node corners on it. And as you can see, I can just adjust those corners and effectively stretch and bend this shape. Let's put a curve in it. At the moment, the box has square, uh, square is a, basically a rectangle with straight edges. But if I use my standard node editing tools, uh, which are just the same as in other areas of the product, we can start to take this shape and really flex it around inside the box. That's great. So that'll do. Don't want to go too bad with that. What I'm going to do now is take a mirror of that. And if I hold down the control key as I mirror it, I get a copy. So now I've got two wings here. And let's take this body back up and start dropping it on those wings. And we can see straight away, it's not too bad. You see, it's merged back the shape of our original um, bird. I'm just going to nudge these wings across a wee bit so that they line up nicely. Basically, just by eye, I can see that that's reasonably good. OK, now what I want to do is, you can see we've got a little bit of, of a nasty seam there. Uh, so what I want to do is, is just sculpt now to tidy up that boundary. And so the way I'm going to do that is I need to 
basically sculpt all these components together as if they're one. So to do that I'm going to use the new bake command which basically converts them back into a single object and once they're baked I can use my sculpting tool to come back on here. Let's make this full screen so we can see more clearly what's going on and zoom in and I've got the smoothing tool selected here with very low strength just enough that I can blend that shape out a little bit down there. Let's make that a bit smaller on this side. Not too much needed on that side. It's coming really nicely. Okay, and that's it. Come back out. Let's uh, tile our views again so we can see more easily what's going on. Uh, and if you remember, we kept the original one, so we've got a direct comparison. But before I do that, let's just mirror him again so that his head is facing the other way. So I just flip him that way. And let's twiddle him around a wee bit so that he's in a slightly better pose. Turn back on the original one. And let's put some rotation on that one as well. And here you can see we've added a great deal of interest now by having two slightly different eagles in our model, but without too much effort required on our part to produce what is now a unique piece of clip art built from the original component.